Real quick, let me address a question that I get all the time. When will cannabis stocks pay out? It's a good question, right? Well, you're in luck. One trader who I interviewed and went into the lab with is addressing this question heads on. His name is Lance Ippolito, and he's the real deal. And today, I want you to tap the button below and grab his three patterns blueprint, as well as his top cannabis stock to bounce within the next 24 hours. Hey everyone, it's Thursday, it's October the 3rd, the market's gonna close in about an hour. Wanted to give you a little update, kind of show you what's going on, what I'm thinking, have help you get inside my head and see whether it's time to fold the chips or hold the chips. All right, let's start with employment situation. Tomorrow at 8.30, we have a big employment report. If the number is below expectations, I believe the expectations are about 160,000 or so. Let's see here, 145,000. If the number is below 145,000, that's going to be positive. If the number is above 145, it's gonna be negative. So keep your eye on that 145,000 level, okay? That's the consensus. Remember, it doesn't matter if the number's good or bad, it matters if the number is above or below the consensus because the consensus is what's priced into this market. Now, technically, looking at the S&P 500, we have breached the 50-day moving average. This is the 200-day moving average below. We It looks like we broke through and it looks like we had a little shakeout this morning and we're closing near the high. That's expected. So it looks like we're going to see exactly what we saw here. Now, in the next few days, if we sprint back up and have two days of clearance, that means where the lows don't touch the 50-day moving average, that's gonna be very bullish. I don't think that's gonna happen. I think we're gonna kind of hover around here, kind of see what we saw in August, kind of this type of a trading action between the 50-day and the 200-day moving average. Now, more downside, don't think so. The put to call ratio hit 127. That means the puts really were active yesterday, and that means that rubber band is really stretched out, like so unless there's some other catalyst that we're not aware of right now, the market looks oversold. Also, the RSI, the 10-day RSI, which I look at, it bounced below 30 at right around the 28.99 level. Now, the RSI is not a sensitive indicator. It's very non-sensitive. So when it goes to 30 or 70, when it goes to 30, it means the market's oversold. When it goes to 70, it means the market's overbought. It's not like the stochastics where you blow on it like that and it's overbought or oversold. You really got to make the, the uh, RSI work for it. And as you can see here, it went oversold before we hit the 200-day moving average. And that's already with the put-to-call ratio showing over uh, a, lot of, a lot more put buying, excuse me, uh, a lot more put buying than call buying. Anytime you see it above 115, that means that rubber band is getting stretched out and put activity is going through the roof. Anytime you see it below 80, it means call buying is getting very aggressive. Greed is taking over. But anything above 115 is saying fear is taking over. And we're in fear mode right now. Now, do I think this market's really going to dive further? No. Why? Look at the VIX. This is the short-term fear index, volatility index. And with the market breaching the 50-day line, it's barely at 20. It barely hit 20. And it doesn't look like it's really going to... Let me show you a line chart. I don't like looking at bar charts because this isn't a stock or a ETF. It's a, it's an indicator. As you can see here, it hit 20 yesterday and it's already backing off. If it's below 20, the markets are not fearful. And if the markets are below the 50 day moving average and put the call ratios at 127 or even maybe a little higher today intraday and the fear levels below 20, that's telling us that that's a shakeout, not a lot of, uh, a lot of downside left in the market. Maybe a little bit, but not a lot. We could see choppiness, choppiness, kind of like what we saw in, uh, kind of like what we saw in uh, August. Let me show you here again. This view is very unattractive. Let me uh, set it to something a little sexier. Here we go. So. We could see this and we'll know within the next day or two. But again, either way, either choppy or upside, don't expect too much downside. Maybe a good buying opportunity around here, especially if we take out this high of 291.50 on the S&P. 
I would put a buy stop right at these levels or an alert. And if the SPY, the E mini S&P or the SPY, uh, the spider ticker symbol SPY, you could see it right here. That represents the top 500 stocks. If it breaks above the 291.50 level, that would probably be a good time to start looking at defensive stocks or get out of stocks if you're in speculative stocks like tech stocks and consumer stocks for now and get into long bonds. That's defensive. So if we, we see a period like we did here in August, utilities, XLU is the ticker symbol right here, utilities or bonds are going to lead. Let's take a look at utilities here. Yeah, look at that. Look at all time highs and we're right here. Definitely look at utilities and look at bonds if we stay below the 50 day moving average. And if we go above the 50 day moving average, make sure you wait for complete clearance where the low of the bars, the low of these bars right here is above the 50 day moving average, much how it is right now on the utility sector and in the 20 year bonds. Notice it's above the 50 day moving average right here. That means it's bullish. You don't want to be on in anything that's below the 50 day moving average for a minimum of two days. Folks, can you directionally trade the markets? Well, Lance Polito, who I mentioned earlier, is an emerging market specialist. And he says, yes, by leveraging options, Lance has scored profit of 980 percent, 400 percent, 551 percent from trading both directions, not just up, but down too. today. I told him to unlock his blueprint for you for free. No cost, no charge, nothing. Just tap the button below and Lance will take care of the rest.